Yes. <laughs> so this is an assignment. Let's see. Let's see who can do this. I'll tell you this. Most people can't. I couldn't. And it's to go 24 hours <clears throat> without in engaging or indulging in any form of like edging or lust or female attraction, etc. Just one day. Day and night. <clears throat> it sounds easy. I remember there was a time I knew this stuff. I knew this lusting and edging was like keeping me down, keeping me small. I knew it was like blocking my power. Obviously the PMO, <clears throat> that's clear. Most people know that. Actually, some don't. <laughs> Somebody left a message and said, no, it's in your mind. It's your mindset. Some people enjoy PMO and <clears throat> you won't suffer. Yeah, okay, at some point you'll see. You just, it's, it's, it's like certain laws, natural laws of life. You do certain things, you're gonna, there's consequences. There's an energetic consequence. It's about energy. It's not about, I'm not so much into the whole right, wrong, morality thing. It's, it's about vibration. You do lower vibrational things, at some point, it's gonna start wearing on us and we're gonna like absorb that lower vibration and then it's gonna come through when we talk or, how we think, our feelings, actions, everything's gonna kind of be on that lower vibe level. That's why <clears throat> that's why I keep saying like, it's about lifestyle habits and you want to raise your vibration in all areas of your life, okay? But you can't see, you can't have the contrast. If you're in a low vibrational state, your mind can justify and just say, yeah, just, everything's good, it's all good. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing though, see? You don't know what you're missing until you cross over and you're on the next level, then you look in retrospect, you're like, damn, I was compromising, I was missing out. So I tried to go many times, I'm like, okay, when I go outside, I'm just, I'm not gonna look at the girls. And if I look at them, I'm not gonna engage or indulge in any kind of sexual ob objectification, objectification. I'm not gonna objectify them, that's what I'm saying. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not do that, but I couldn't do it. I was like, okay, so I'm not gonna look at him. It's too hard. Swami Shivananda, he's more of an aesthetic type. Uh, I remember reading his book, The Practice of Brahmachari, when I was in India a couple of decades ago. And I really liked that book. It was like the first book I found on uh, semen retention or Brahmachari. So he said, look at the ground, look at your big toe when you walk. See, he knew, he knows the power of lust. So I tried that. I couldn't do that either. I would hear a girl talking. I just like, I just, I just wanna look, I just wanna look. This is how strong this energy is. We don't know how strong it is until we stop, we, 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 we start to try to not engage in it. And then we find out. So I'm saying like, this, this isn't a, a fail or succeed type thing. Just, just so you can get perspective on the power of, of this, uh, you can say deep-seated vasana or tendency of lust, just so you can get better perspective on that, go 24 hours and don't do it. Try not to do it. There's some people can't do it for even a, a minute. Their mind will go into some kind of fantasy, like the whole being gets shooken up. They get restless. And then they justify and say, you know, this is, this is making me worse. <laughs> when I, when I start trying to stop the PMO and edging, I actually get worse. So it must be that, that the semen retention advocates, like, like there's something wrong with them. They're, uh, uh, there's something wrong with that teaching because it's making me worse. No, what it's doing is revealing to you the uh, depth that this habit has on your mind and your, your, your <clears throat> Your, your whole being, that's what it's doing. And so then the, the old habits are revolting. They're like, no, can't, can't go to the next level. It's like they start shooting you <laughs> and you feel this inner turmoil and this restlessness. And then the mind says, yeah, yeah, it's, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't even try to be working on this. It's too hard. And the mind's like, yeah, you're never gonna get this. This is impossible. Everyone that says they got it, they're lying or they're just higher level than me. And then you take yourself out of this higher aspiration. But then later you'll come back, you see? Because at some point you get so tired of it, you're just willing to suffer 
in the name of trying to purify yourself. Those people, when I talk to them, we can work with each other, see? I can, I can help those people the best because they're ready. They're like open, they're ready, you know? So I would try, I would, I would just fail over and over again, you know? But the reason I say just take 24 hours is because it's like you want to you wanna bite off like small amounts of food to chew. And you don't want to you don't want to declare and say I'm never gonna you know <clears throat> lust or edge again or anything like you don't want to you, you can't you can't like make that oath so don't set yourself uh, up for it because you don't know I've, you know how many people I've heard including my previous self we'd, we'd be on a streak and, and in that moment I feel so empowered I'm like ah I got this man like I'm done I'm never gonna do this again <laughs> there's a guy telling me that like a, a month ago or something. And I'm like, you don't know when these energies are going to come up again. When this surge, this strong, it was dormant maybe for a few weeks. So you got your streak going, but then it comes up with full power, this strong obsessive urge. But we forget. We forget when, we're, when, when, when everything's going good. We don't realize like we're gonna be challenged and tested, like this stuff's gonna come up again. And then that's game day, you gotta transcend it. So the reason I say just take 24 hours though is because it's possible, you can do that. You can take 24 hours, take yourself out of the whole uh, arena, the whole PMO and edging lust arena, and you just don't do it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna see the benefits of not doing it. You're gonna see like, there's like an inner, you can say peace or contentment that starts to arise in you and you start to become aware of it. And you start to be more relaxed. You start to realize how restless this whole sexual instinct can make somebody. I gotta make a video on that, <clears throat> how, how restless female attraction is. That whole game is just super restless. It keeps you in a constant state of just restlessness. That's okay, I guess, for a while, but at some point, you get older, you're like, man, I, I don't want to, I just don't want to be this bobbing head that just, every time I see a girl, I turn and look, you know. There's guys like that. They go to the grocery store, they're with their family and their wife and kids, and they see a girl <clears throat> wearing a, a younger girl with a miniskirt on, and then they just can't help but look. Sometimes the wife hits them and shit, but he still can't stop. Yeah, I'm sorry. They'll look again. <laughs> This is, the, <clears throat> this is the power of this, um, this instinct of lust. So you take it easy. You, you, you take it small chunks. You do for 24 hours as best as you can. Then you see the benefits. Then you might have the motivation to do it again. You see? This is why in the 12-step program they say uh, one, one day at a time, just for, just for today. Because you can't project into the future. It becomes too heavy and... You just say right now, even even not today, just right now, for one hour, or for the next ten minutes. I'm just not going to engage in these uh, <clears throat> these negative thought patterns and habits that I I want to. There's something inside me that wants to overcome that. I want to honor that, and so you start honoring it as best as you can, but you don't you don't uh, set yourself up for failure failure. You don't. We don't have the power to declare that we're never going to act out on any level subtle or gross when it comes to lust ever again because these levels they get more subtle so look at it as a as like a improvement game you can just keep getting better and better and better and more subtle and more refined and more purified you got to see it like that start with the grossest level first the pmo and then you start working on the more deep uh, deeper levels of uh, uh subtle lusting and edging Okay, but you can do this for 24 hours and let me know how that goes. Let me know what you see, what you find. 24 hours is long enough to get some perspective on the difference between <clears throat> acting out on these habitual patterns and not. You need perspective, you need contrast. When you have contrast and, and perspective, then your intelligence, your, 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 your faculties of yeah, intelligence and knowledge and wisdom, they, they <clears throat> activate better because you have perspective. You just need a little perspective, okay? 
because like I said, when we're totally caught up in this sexual, uh, sexual arena game, you can't see anything except that. You, gotta, you need a little bit of, just come out a little bit so you can look and see, like, oh, okay. And then your inner powers of uh, discernment and um, intestinal fortitude can activate, and then the, the, the game begins. It's like, who's gonna win, you know? I made that video, Spiritual Warfare. That's, that's what that's about. All right, have a good day.